that have been shared abroad in our heart be to show love to others too. Amen. Amen. We thank God for this money and the opportunity to share the word of God with you. This morning we are our scripture reading will be taken from Matthew chapter 28. We are reading from the, the 16 to the 20. I read it quickly. Then the loving disciples went away into Galilee. To the mountain where Jesus had appointed to, for them. When they saw him, they worshipped him. Some doubted. And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority have been given to him in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations and, make, and baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you to the end of the day. Lo, I am with you to the end of the day. Let's share with our prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this morning. You have a word for us, a rima, a word that you will plant into our hearts. That will not be hearers of your word only, Amen. but doers. Amen. Whatever word you have Jesus. for each and every one of us here this morning, yes, Lord. we will leave here blessed in Jesus and Amen. to take action Amen. to give you glory. Amen. Let the word come with power and let your children hear your word. Let no power of darkness take it away. Amen. No power of the enemy take it away. Amen. Amen your glory. Amen. 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 Before Jesus' ascension to heaven, he gave the command to the disciples. This command has come to be called the Great Commission. These words were directly spoken to the apostles and the disciples. And indirectly to us today. It is a marching order. It's what the church ought to be doing. It's telling us exactly what we have to be doing. And this the disciple took seriously. He spoke to them in Israel. In, in Judea specifically. In and two te- two, more than 2,000 years ago. This word has been spreading. And it is our time. It's today, it's our time. It is our moment to also take seriously what the disciples Because if they have just not taken this word, command seriously, the one who would have come to Ghana, they would have come to Africa, they would have come to the EU. But because they took the word seriously, it's our time to also take the word seriously. This morning, I'm speaking on the topic. Be a disciple maker. And from the test, I'm sharing five points, five facts concerning how we can be disciple workers. 
It's all from the test we are going Jesus has won. He has given us a mandate. The mandate that we have been given is a divine mandate. And what is that mandate? And is to make disciples. Because the disciples, when they heard the commandment of Jesus, they went to the land and breath of the known world up to even today to make more disciples. And directly to us, we have the Monday, divine Monday to also make disciples. But you cannot be a disciple maker unless you are also a disciple. Now look at what he said in the system. Then the loving disciples went away into Galilee to the mountain which the Lord had appointed for them. You have to be where God Almighty wants you to be. You have to be a person who does what the Lord have appointed for you. Before you can become a disciple maker, you also have to be a disciple. Because it is the disciples that don't give their commandments. Disciples become the disciple makers. And that is the mandate God has given us. Now, So you ask with that mandate, sir, to me that job, that injunction, that command. What is the method? With the divine mandate, what is the divine method to accomplish it? Yes, sir. Go. Literally in the original language Greek. It's literally translated as you are going. You cannot be a disciple maker and a disciple of that when you are sitting down and not going. And as you are going, as you are going, as you are going, to go is an action. And he say, as you are going, means every aspect of your going is ministry. Your going to work is evangelism and mission. Whatever you do, as you go to the market, as you go to work, as you go to your ministry, everything you do is going. And that is what he said. This should change our life. In two ways. Because our going into the lifestyle. We are Bible to those who don't read the Bible. They, they read us. We tell them we are people of God. The way they behave. As, as we are going in righteousness, living a righteous life. As we are going in living the life that Christ has appointed to us as disciples. As we are going in the 
life of integrity. As we are going, living the life that God has appointed for us. A lifestyle that says that I know God. And I want you also to know Him. Because my life is different from your life. I have a hope. For tomorrow, I have eternal life. And because Jesus walked a certain kind of life, as a disciple of Jesus, I follow in his footsteps. So check my life. I live righteously. I live a holy life. Not by my might. But Christ living in me. I live by grace. I live to show the world. I am the light of the world. I am the salt of the earth. We live a life of salt. Because Jesus said, You, as we as his disciples, we are the salt of the earth. You are a salt of the earth. Salt preserved. So we preserve the morality of society. A new sensor report has come. In 2010, the sensor revealed that there are 70 percent of Christians in Ghana. That means we are the majority. So if you are the salt of the earth and light of the earth, then we are part of the program, the majority. To be a disciple maker, you have to have a lifestyle of Jesus. We should imitate him. Paul said, imitate me as I imitate Christ. We have to live the Christ-like life. We should shine in every place because we are the light. We should put the spotlight in everywhere we are. But to work because of you, things must be right. Darkness cannot cover you. So why you are like? He said you are the light of the of the of the of the, of the world. So wherever you are in the darkness. You have covered your light. And darkness cannot cover light. So let's arise and shine. For our glory has come. And the light of God has shone upon us. So to be a disciple maker, you have to have the lifetime of a disciple. The lifetime that is Christ-like. And number two, the metal. You have to have a mouth that declares. We show people that we are Christians. But we must speak. We must speak. He gave us names to speak. He said, Go into the world. Go into it. And preach the word. He said, Go teach them. Teach them. We have to teach. A lifetime of declaring the hope we have. You come, perhaps you come from a poor family. <laughs> and as you walk in life, you find a gold. Yeah. A big pot of gold. Is it that you are going to forget your, where you are coming from? Now you have become so rich. 
you, you know how to, to eat well. But you, wherever you are coming from, that place they are eating ketas uh, food, boys, and that's healthy. But uh, so, uh, uh, they eat banku morning, afternoon, evening. But you are eating a healthy life and forget about them. What kind of person are you? What kind of person are you? How would you be described? A number of times we as Christians we talk to our friend about everything including football about the new dress, the new style, the new hairdo. But we never, but most of the time we never speak up to them about Christ that we have. We have the treasures of faith. We have faith. We have treasure. Treasure in the Lord. We have riches in the Lord. We have the joy of the Lord. We have the blessings of the Lord. But we never share. We can talk to them about the things of this world. What is the latest telenovela in the system? I don't know. I thought it used to be Kokumbaya or something. Maybe you can say Kokumbaya or something. But what are we talking to others about? And so, and then I don't know what more What are you saying to them that you are? Then I don't catch from somewhere. You don't help us. Rather than why? To share. What is on our status? If you look, some people have about 40 people following you consistently. Some Christians, they do like this. And they put it there. And have 50 people following them. In Facebook, in Instagram, whatever. They get a bunch in Kankra and Fufu and put it there. They are, sta- they are standing with a man, they put it there. So when are you going to talk about your Christ there? Why are you quoting other people and not quoting your Lord who spoke? Let's like the social media we go. Because whether you like it or there are other people pushing an agenda. Get the lifestyle. And we have to have the mouth, the lips to speak. Lips to share the word. May God help us. May God help us. It must involve our lifestyle because people are watching. The method must also involve our lips because God has given us to speak. When they ask you for the hope you have in Christ, tell them it's Christ Jesus who came to die. So all of us, by God, we have been given a mandate. Our mandate is to make disciples. And the method is that we should go. We should go. We should go. We should go. And when we go, we should have a lifestyle. 
If you involve our lifestyle, if you involve our lives, we have been given a divine mission. I'm saying that He has given us a divine mission. It is to make disciples of all nations. The word uh, nations, the word nations, is from the Greek word ethnos. ethnos. So, from which we get the word ethnic. ethnic. So, wherever you are, as you are going with your lifestyle, as you are going to speak with your mouth, it's to every nation. And Jesus said, Then you shall receive power. And you shall be my witness. In Jerusalem. Start in your Jerusalem. Start in your Jerusalem. Start wherever you are. Speak to your brother. Speak to your sister. Speak to your friend. Speak to your work with your work colleagues. Speak in your community. And to the end and to the end. The to the nations. Start wherever you are. That is the mandate. There is something we say. Most of the we go outside gentility. We share the world outside. We try to live the lifestyle of Christ outside. And get the praise of God. But when we come home, Oh boy. It's different. We can't show the love of Christ in our home. We have not shared the world with our daughters and sons. So when that day comes, and we are going to the heaven, and you see your brother. Who is not going to be with you? How will it be like? How will it be like? You have your husband who is not going with you. That friend that you eat together with, you have not shared. How is it going to be like? Starting your Jerusalem. Start talking to your children about Christ. Show them the way of the ancient. Let them see you praying. Let your children see you reading the word. Let your children see you obeying the word. The statistics is so bad. More children of pastors and deacons and church leaders are leaving the church. Some church members, their children have renounced coming to church. But in the name of Jesus, it's over. Your children will fear the Lord. Amen. Go follow after you. Amen. They must know the God you serve. Amen. Like Joshua, you will say, When you are Joshua, come on. I am my household. When people are going to have a staff of my household, I say, say, oh, be poor or he may not have a declaration. You have to declare. You must take them along to serve the Lord. We stand for my Jerusalem. Our world, our world around us. And we stand from there. And we go to Judea. We we'll move from there. We we'll go to our community. We we'll go. I don't be surprised very soon. The call will come. The member of this church will be sent to other place to go and minister. We have been here 20 years. But God will send the things around. And we tell somebody to start a mission somewhere. No, let it be me. 
Let it be me. Let it be me. We have sat here for so long. It is time to move and do ministry. Because there are some who do not know the law. Saturday, I and my wife went to this place, went to this area. It's called Afghanistan. Afghanistan in Ghana. Right in Pillar 2. Right here in Pillar 2. We want to invite people to come to church. They are not here yet. We will go back. We will keep inviting them. We will keep inviting them. Invite them to come. We have a mission. We have a mission to go. We have a mission to go and make disciples of all nations. We have a divine mandate. We have a divine mandate. We have a divine mission. We have a divine mission. We have a divine message. We have a divine message. Jesus said, verse 20 of Matthew 28, teaching them, teaching them, teaching them to observe all that I have taught you, teaching them all that I have commanded you. Our message is the gospel. The Bible said Jesus came preaching the gospel. And he called and went calling disciples. We just go and share the word. Yes, can share the word. So Jesus said. He came to save and seek those who are lost. He came to die of this one person. The gospel is the power of God. The gospel is the power of God. And to salvation. Let's share it. Let's tell them. Jesus loved them. Let's tell them that we have a savior. Something happened. Did you see it? In Mark chapter 5. There was a man possessed of demons. Demon possessed man in the grave. In Cadaveres, whatever the name is. And Jesus met this demon possessed man. And he said, The man said, He says, Have you come to destroy us? Uh, yes, we come to destroy before the time. And Jesus said, uh, yes, What is your name? He says, I'm legend. legend. I am many. And the demon said, Send me into the swine. And Jesus cast out that demon. The Bible says, after the casting of demons, the man was, was roped in his right mind and told Jesus, Jesus, let me follow you. Jesus, let me follow you. And Jesus said, no need to follow me. No need to follow me. But let's read it in the test. Mark chapter 5. Mark chapter 5. Mark 19 to 20. We should read it. Jesus said. However, Jesus did not permit him. But he said to him. Say, go home. Go home to your Go your friends. Go home to your friends. Go home to your family. And tell them what great things the Lord has done for you. Don't need to just share the word. Look at what the Lord has done for me. And look at what happened. 
and how he had had compassion on you. And the Bible said, and he departed and began to proclaim in the Catholics all that Jesus had done for him. And many marveled. You have the message. Don't tell them what the Lord has done for you. See how God is answering your prayer. See how you are forgiving your sins. See how you can pray. See how He is helping you. Just go home. Go home. Go home. Go to your friends. Go to your family. Tell them. Just proclaim. Tell them. What the Lord has done, what good, how to. That's our message. Let's go. Jesus has saved me. Jesus has helped me. He's my savior. You don't need to understand, but that is my message. Message. Go and take these people words. Go and take these people words of this man. Who have been, who have been demon possessed? To share the word. How much more you and me? Yeah. In our right minds. We won't proclaim the word. And the message is simple. I was a sinner. I was demon possessed. He has saved me. He has given me a new heritage. Is it difficult to share? If I know somebody has given you one million dollars. So we are bro, and yeah, America star of Atemba Akwa. That's too much. A thousand Ghana. And we are bro, Ghana star Atemba Akwa. Let me see it to be hurt. We are bro, we are too. Everybody will know. We are bro, we are too. We are chosen. We are the rich man in the world. We are bro, we are too. We are the rich man in the world. We are bro, we are too. We are the rich man in the world. We are bro, we are too. We have a divine message. It's God, the gospel, the good news. And Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Of which I am the worst one. Of which I am among them. You are giving me a new voice. You have had compassion on me. And you have compassion on you. That is the message we give you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And finally, we have a divine master. We have a divine master with resources for us. He says in the 18, all power, all authority is in my hands. Therefore, go. We have the authority of Christ Jesus. The power of God is on our side. And then you shall receive power. When the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you shall be my witnesses. We are witnesses of God. We are witnesses of Jesus. We have the authority. There were two minutes of Christ Jesus. Yes, we saw two minutes. Singing us. So we don't need to fear. And until this say yes, the power of the Holy Spirit is in us and with us. Amen. He did not give us the spirit of fear. And yet, but of power. Of some mind and of love. We don't care. Whoever it is, we give respect to whom respect is due. But we tell them Jesus loves you. We tell them you need to accept Jesus Christ as the Lord and We tell them come to Jesus, He's inviting you. If you come unto me, all of you are weary and heaven lady. He's calling you. He's calling me. He just say to them. He's giving us his power. He's giving us his authority. Will you go? He's with us. 
is with us. The second resources he has given us. He says, I am with you. I am with you. To the end of the age. He said, no! I am with you. Even as you have gathered this morning, according to Matthew chapter 18, verse 20, is the one, two, two or three are gathered in my name. I'm in their midst. But he also said, now, can I as you go about, as you go about sharing the word, as you go about telling us that Jesus loved them, as you go about bringing them to Christ, he says he will be with you to the end of the age. 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 Our time will come to an end. To the end of the age. There will be a time we cannot witness again. Either he come and meet us. Hundred years from now. The job of making disciples for some of us will be over. And we'll be with the Lord. If there is a time. That he will be with us on this earth. It is now. It is now. It will, he will be with us. He said he will be with us. He is Emmanuel. He is Emmanuel. Go with us. He is with us as we go to our marketplace. But we have to share the word. You have to tell others. I am a disciple of Jesus. I have to make you a disciple. I invite you to come. I don't have much, but I know this has saved me. But come to my church. You will hear the word of God. You have to invite. But let me show you something that God is doing. Look into this church. All those who are in this church came here because somebody brought them. A mother, a father, a friend, a sister. And now they have become disciples. My wife brought me here. My wife brought me here. He brought me. Who have you brought? Who have you brought? Who have you told the good news? Let's bring them. Somebody brought a friend. Who have you brought? So that the pastors, the deacons will do the work of this happening. So that we will baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It's our job to bring them. Let's bring them. Can you bring Peter? He didn't say, I saw the Lord, I have seen the Lord. Peter, let's go. Let's go and see the Lord. Let's, let's bring them. Next week, I pray that I will bring somebody to church. How many of us will join and bring somebody to church? By the grace of God, by the grace of God, bring them. Bring them. You will disciple them. You will disciple them. You will baptize them. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God said. God said. In Proverbs 11 Proverbs 13. Those who bring souls. Those who bring many to disciples of Jesus. Those who are disciple makers. Are wise. Are wise. In Daniel chapter 12 verse 3. It says the wise will shine. Like the firmament. 
Those who turn many to righteousness. Those shine like stars in heaven. Would you? And I hope a person over strength and summa will win. Are you wise? And I will your answer. Would you be wise? And I hope a person over your answer. To tell many to Christ. So over Danny at the point of forever, yes. Would you bring them? And I would want to be back to Jesus. Yes, you are. May God help us. Let's bow down our head and pray. Father, this morning we are here. Jesus. You have given us this permission yes, Lord. to go and make disciples Amen. of all nations. Jesus, to baptize them in the name of the Father, yes, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. To teach them all that you have taught us. Amen. Help us to go. Amen. Help us to teach. Amen. Help us to baptize. Amen. Teach us, Lord. Help us, Lord, so that when we go to the world today, tomorrow, this week, ah, uh, may we tell somebody Jesus loves them. Amen. May we tell them Jesus still forgives. May we bring them and direct them Amen. to a church. Amen. They can love you. They can serve you also, like they do. It's still inviting. We want somebody to do it. Lord, I want to be like Isaiah. Lord, send me. My brothers and sisters, my fathers and my mothers here, make them like Isaiah. Who oh, say, Lord, send me. Send me. I will go. May we go. May we go and make disciples. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.